All right, today is going to be an unboxing of two different AAA powered flashlights. This is going to be the beginning of the discussion relating to this category, which is this battery size. So if you're interested in either the Ultratech K18 or the Lumentop EDC02, stick around. As you might expect, the unboxing did not go as planned because the user interfaces on these are a little bit different than what I expected. So instead of having you guys watch me fuddle through trying to figure them out, I figured we'd just go ahead and talk about them in a more direct fashion. So we just got two flashlights in the mail that are going to be part of a series where we talk about AAA slash 10440 based flashlights. The two that we got in are the Ultratech K18. This is a side switch AAA, which is really different. And the other one is the EDC, um, EDC02 by Lumentop. Completely different in what I'm trying to accomplish here. So starting with the Ultratech, uh, this is a flashlight designed to take two different forms of fuel, word fuel, uh, starting with the 10 440 as well as a standard triple a rechargeable triple a and has some pretty some impressive output when it comes to using the 10 440 but before we do that let's talk about the user interface because it had me for a loop um, so it is currently unlocked so if i hold press for 0.3 seconds or more it should turn on which it does it has memory, so this is actually its highest output with a 10440, and it is bright, very, very bright. Um, great output for something so small. Now, if I press it just once, it'll cycle back to low, medium, and then, of course, high again. Now, we're going to hold press it to turn it off. And from here, think, this is where I kind of need to, to run through it just briefly. To lock out this flashlight, it's a quick double press. It'll flash one time, telling you it is in lockout. Double press very quickly, and you'll see two flashes. That'll tell you it is unlocked. Now, what's cool about this is if I press it like once, like you see, nothing happens. You actually have to hold press it for it to come on, which is really great because if it's bumping around in your pocket, it's very unlikely to come on even if you're not in the lockout. This flashlight also weirdly comes with tritium slots in the back. And I think that's because the titanium version, which is a little fancier, I don't even think it's made anymore. It also has this, and I guess they decided to keep all of the uh, architecture. So really, really cool so far. We're going to talk much more in depth about this flashlight when we do the full comparison of all of the AAAs. The other one is the EDC. Zero 02. So this is a really relatively standard triple A powered flashlight. It is a twisty actuated flashlight, meaning that when I turn it and tighten it down, it'll go to its current mode. Interestingly, it went to high, didn't it? See, I'm still learning it. This is why I had to remake the video. So that said it was on low. It has memory. Wow. Okay. So it has memory. So let me check that. So it's on high, untwist it. Wow, that's interesting. A twisty light with memory. I don't think I've ever seen that. All right, very different. All right, cool, cool. So it actually has memory. Maybe that's actually a good thing. But anyway, so twist whatever mode you were on last, untwist, wait a few seconds, twist back, and it's still, oh, maybe a more than a couple of seconds then. But you get the idea, okay? The point is, is that it does have memory, something I just learned, and it has three outputs. The outputs for this are five lumens, 32, and 120. All really good. And decent run times as well. 36 hours, four hours, and 30 minutes. Maximum candela of 553, and so on. Okay, these are both IPX8 waterproof. In fact, all the flashlights that I'll be talking about in my video are all IP68 or better. I'm not exactly sure which one's better, IP68 or IPX8. Anyway, the point is, is that they're all relatively, if not completely waterproof, up to two meters for a certain amount of time. And that's really important with this because I actually had a very specific purpose in mind. Um, 
In the past, I've actually worn a AAA powered flashlight as a necklace pendant, finding it very, very um, convenient when, you know, I don't want to go searching for a flashlight in the middle of the night. And as my eyes get worse, I feel like this becomes even more important. And flashlights are just kind of end up becoming a necessity because my vision isn't all that great. So what I like about this is it actually has a magnetic cap and it is really strong. I actually needed a plier to get it off. And what that means is not only can this flashlight work and quickly come apart from whatever it's attached to, it also has an additional trick. If you are working inside a car or basically anywhere where something is metal, you actually have a whole new way of working hands-free. So that makes it a little bit different than most flashlights in the size range. In fact, I think this is the only AAA I've ever seen that has a magnetic tail base. So very, very different than your average flashlight. And my plan is to have this on a keych on a pendant, on a necklace, just like that. And that way, when I need it, I just simply pull it off of my necklace to use it. And then when I need to, I can put it back on. And if, because it has a very diffuse emitter, uh, not a meter, um, lens, it actually will work great even when it's just hung from my neck. That's the idea anyway. So kind of sit right here. You can see it works in front of me. That's kind of the idea. So it has multifunction built into it for my usage. I love that I can simply pull it off the chain and then I can then use it with my hands instead or connect it somewhere else if I don't want that particular angle. This could end up being very, very useful. Now, I can imagine if you have this with magnets in your pocket, it could become problematic, especially, especially if you use expensive watches with mechanical movements. Um, they can Something can happen called degaussing, and it is a major pain in the butt to fix and potentially very expensive, maybe 10 times what this flashlight costs. So if you have, if you will use expensive, you know, watches that have mechanical movements, please avoid magnets, okay? Because that is going to be a very expensive mistake. Anyway, that's a bit of an aside, but I still think great flashlight, very different from what I expected. And even in this video, as you can see, I'm still learning it a little bit more. Now I, I brought down four flashlights a little bit to compare. It turns out these two, the uh, Through Night TI3 V2 are pretty much identical in length except for that added lanyard section which is kind of amazing this is one of the smallest ones that i have and this turns out to be equal in length that's awesome now the i3t i didn't really plan on there's nothing really to compare this to right now just that to know that this will end up being in that review because not only can it use a standard AAA, it also is capable of using the 10440 and its output is probably the highest of any flashlight in this category. Um, my guess is the output for the high is close to the 500 lumen range. I'd be surprised if it's any lower. And we have other, other ones as well, the Matten Manco CSF03. And uh, this is capable of using both fuels and has an SST20 emitter with the high CRI. Very, very cool. And then, of course, the Raylite Pineapple Mini in aluminum, which we just talked about. And being under under 35 bucks, this is pretty amazing. So we have a lot to talk about in the AAA size, but we're getting there. We're almost to the point where I feel confident we've covered, I have most of the AAAs to discuss. This isn't even scratching the surface, but that video is coming soon where we can kind of pick out what are the well, the ideal, <laughs> the ideal flashlights for a given, you know, criteria. So thanks again for tuning in. We will give you guys some updates on these in the future. And of course, we will do the full video. You guys have a great one and we'll talk again soon.